Greetings. I know this is a word for some of you and probably many of you. The word of the Lord that I am releasing to you is, do not be afraid of their faces. Yes, beloved, do not be afraid of their faces. Now, what I am sensing here prophetically is that some of you have something coming up. There are things that you have to deal with, some important issues, and even some difficult people that you're dealing with in your life. It could be an employer, uh, someone who's got some influence over what is happening in your life and even has some type of authority. And so God is saying, just as I said to Jeremiah, when I sent him forth as my spokesperson, as my mouthpiece and my prophet to the nation, thank you, Jesus, to the nations. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 8 and verse 9, God is saying, he is repeating to you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you. The Lord says, I am with you. You have to know God is with you in that room. God is with you in that doctor's office. God is with you in that licensing bureau. God is with you in that workplace. He's with you in the boardroom. He is with you wherever you're going and whoever you have to talk to. And the Lord is saying, do not forget. Do not be afraid of their faces. Why? Because these faces can be intimidating and they want to be intimidating. They intend to intimidate you. Do you know some people, uh, they know they're intimidating you and they actually enjoy it? Can someone say amen here? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Because I've been in these situations many, many times myself where I felt intimidated just because of the situation and the power dynamics that were involved. Amen. But let me, let me just say here, God is saying to you, I have touched your mouth. Okay, I have stretched forth my hand like I did upon Jeremiah and I've touched your mouth and do not underestimate the fact, the reality, the truth that I have put my words in your mouth. God wants to let you know he's going to let you know what to say. He is going to give you the words to say and it's going to flow out of you. And later on, you'll think back and you'll think, wow, I can't believe I said that. And also what the Lord is showing me is they are listening. They are listening to you. They are watching you. And much of the intimidation rises up, of course, because it's deeper than just I want to intimidate you. It's more like I want to stop you from what God has called you to do. Amen. So what I have to release to you right now is just to speak as God did to Jeremiah, that Jeremiah should speak forth what the Lord tells him to say. And he is saying, do not think I will not give you the words, but I am giving you the wisdom I am giving you the formation of the sentences. I am giving you the understanding and you will talk the talk that I've sent you to talk. And God said, do not be afraid of their faces because they cannot stop the plans that I have for you. They cannot stop. In fact, they're going to play their part. They are going to play their role. Thank you, Lord God. In fact, I think that might be a prophetic word coming up in the future, but we'll see as the Lord leads me. Amen. 
So God bless you. Do not be afraid of their faces. Carry on. And God is giving you the words and the wisdom to speak and also to know when to be silent, when to shut it down. Amen. The right amount, okay, the right amount is sometimes less is more. Amen. Okay, God bless you. Love you. And I will talk to you soon, my friend. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for your prayers too and support in every way. Love you. Bye-bye.